blah, 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 blah. All right. <coughs> um, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you're watching. You uh, have just tuned in to Gender Queer Chat. The time is seven o'clock, which means it's time once again for me to fill in. And this time I'm with someone. My name's Sigflup. My name's Ricky. And you're watching Gender Queer Chat. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this week's topic is uh, chosen by Sydney, I think, and. Uh, kind of obscure. Like, I haven't been keeping up with the, the mailing list. I don't really know who chose it. I just know what it is. But the, um, this week's topic is tell us how you got into, uh, tell us how you first identified with gender queer, how, how you found this label, um, and also what you do for fun. Uh, so I'll go first on the first point. Um, what, uh, how I came into being gender queer. Well, I think I actually talked about this <laughs> in a couple of videos ago, um, in a few videos ago. When I, a number of years ago, I forget when it was, I think it was 2005, I think it was when I was actually still dating men, which is, which was a while ago, but, um, not 2005, I must have been like 25 or 24, I forget. I, um, identified as queer, uh, I'm, I, I separated myself from gender, um, just uh, without even thinking about it, just um, unconsciously I would al alienate myself and feel alienated from anything that was gendered and anything that, that girls this and, and boys that. Um, and I, I knew I was different from that, but it, I haven't quite vocalized it or, or thought about it or realized that there was a label for me. And so I was hanging out with this group of people, and uh, one of them, I forget their name, and I don't think they even live here anymore. Uh, which is unfortunate because I'd like to talk to them, but uh, one of them identified as genderqueer, and uh, that's what they said, <laughs> that they were genderqueer. And uh, my immediate response was to think, well, that's kind of obscure. But below the bit of me that thought it was obscure, a little bit deeper, I, I understood, and... Uh, I came to, to see myself as that word, as genderqueer, a few years later. And uh, now I use it all the time. <laughs> and now I'm very genderqueer. And uh, so that's how I, that's how I came, into, came into it. How did you come into it, Ricky? Well, I think it's interesting that you said you sort of subconsciously separated yourself from gender, because I definitely, I definitely did the same thing. And uh, I was always, when I was a kid, I was always somebody tried to gender me, I would be, I'd get kind of grumpy and be like, I don't want to be a girl, don't, don't make me into a girl. And, uh, and then when I was a teenager, I would have sort of talks and debates and stuff with people about, you know, gender and qualities of various people, you know, gendering things. And, uh, and then I, at one point, I kind of realized that this was probably me, that it wasn't everybody. Like, everybody didn't necessarily feel the same way that I did. And uh, so I got on Google, and I found the term genderqueer. And ever since then, that's how I've identified. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I, uh, um, yeah, I, I've assumed it was everyone else as well. And, uh, you know, perhaps it is, and I still haven't convinced myself that it isn't everyone else. Perhaps it is a little bit, um, but not as much as me. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so talking to people uh, who, I guess I would call them cisgendered, um, I might say something concerning something that they've gendered or someone else has gendered or myself. And, uh, you know, they'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I am, uh, well... I uh, I don't like doing this or something like that. And uh, but I would be like, no, you don't get it. <laughs> um, it's it's I'm it's I, I feel that in the extreme. You don't. Yeah. Based on the things that that we do differently, and how we approach things differently, um, there obviously is a difference there. Or the people like especially women who will get annoyed because somebody is, you know, being prejudiced in some way. 
and I'll get annoyed about that and be like, well, I understand how you feel. And it's like, well, that's not really it, you know. It's, it's not just that people yeah. are prejudiced against me because they perceive me as being female. It's, it's kind of more than that, and they just sort of don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know what you mean. So, uh, the, uh, where are you, out of curiosity? Because I can't really see you. Hi, I'm sitting at home at my table. But you, I think, are in a very much more interesting place. Where are you? I am on a bench, on in a on a beach. That's that's my microphone, and that's my computer. And uh, I'll show you the back of my computer. It's kind of neat. There's the back of it. I put rainbows on everything. <laughs> um. <laughs> so there it is this little fisheye lens. Um, and my legs are asleep, actually. I've been sitting here for too long, uh, so I'm looking forward to getting up. But uh, um, So this, the second part of the question was, what do you do for fun? I watch America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not on TV, because they're on TV, like, you know, a few times a day, but if I feel like watching it and it's not on TV, I'll go on YouTube and watch America's Funniest Home Videos on YouTube. <laughs> That's funny. It's cool that you admit that you do it, because I do too, uh, <laughs> but I feel guilty, quite frankly. Yeah, I kind of feel like a jerk, because the ones that are funniest to me are the ones where people kind of crash and maybe <laughs> possibly hurt themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, uh, if Tommy, the person who dove into the pool or whatever, or decided to crawl in the garage like they were Spider-Man in his Spider-Man suit at a kid's uh, party, which was one of them that I remember. If uh, if it's unclear whether they died or not, this is funnier. No, that's just sad. Then I worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're like clearly going to be okay, you know, then it's funny. <laughs> see. The thing I really like about America's Funny is some videos is the predictability of it. Like, uh, you kind of, like, three seconds into it, you know what's going to happen. And it's still um, funny when it does happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Uh, I go for walks. I kind of walk a lot, so that's, that's therapeutic. And uh, I do it for fun, uh, so I walk a lot. I uh, do computer things. Like, let me show you here. This is this is actually 